I'm Jason Cocker at the French Culinary Institute in New York City here with Chef Tony Singh. We're going to show you how to make this for two for only $15. Yeah. Meet Chef Tony Singh from Edinburgh, Scotland, owner of Oloroso, Tony's Table, and Ugly Bread Bakery. Today, he's going to show us how to make roast mackerel with tatty scones, tomato compote, and salsa verde. First, let's start with tatty scones, which are like a Scottish potato pancake. They'll be topped with tomato compote. Peel and chop your potatoes and boil them. Peeling potatoes is never the most glamorous part of cooking. Well, no. Uh, the reason you would go for a floury potato is you don't want it to be starchy when you mash it and mix it. While that's happening, you can make your tomato compote. Now, this is the thing that probably scares people a little bit, but it's really simple. What is this? Tomato compote, very simple. A, a can of chopped tomatoes, some sugar, a little bit of butter, and cooked really slowly so you get this lovely, thick consistency, a bit of salt and pepper in there. Okay. And that's it. And that's about 250. Yes. Yeah, that's going to make the dish feel kind of hearty, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I'm slowly put that on slow heat. So we've got the compote on the stove, on low. Now what's next? That's the potatoes just done. We're okay. Drain them. Let's get mashing. Let's get mashing. Cool. I haven't seen these at Bed Bath and Beyond though. Yeah. Once the potatoes are cooked and mashed, add the mixture of flour and semolina, one beaten egg, salt and pepper, and freshly grated nutmeg. Most of these items are probably already in your pantry. Combine all these ingredients until they're soft with a dough-like consistency, but don't overwork it. Now just evenly roll out the mixture and then fry it in a shallow pan with butter or oil until it's golden brown on both sides. It only costs about $5.50 for both the tatty scones and the tomato compote. Next, the salsa verde, an inexpensive garlicky topping for any dish. And the salsa verde is going to go where in this dish? It's sort of a it's sauce. sauce, yeah. It's just okay. going to go around and tie everything together. Okay. In your food processor, you add three cloves of garlic, three tablespoons of capers, three and a half ounces of oil, any fresh herbs you like, sea salt, white pepper, and then a half cup of chopped onions. So, Tony, what kind of onion do you think a person should use for this? Well, because it's going into the salsa verde, what you've, whatever you've got, even if you've got scallion lying about, you could use that. Red onion, shallot, Spanish onion. Wow. Well, so it really doesn't matter much, as long as you have that pungent flavor. You've got that, yeah, that, that, that sharpness, that's what you're looking for. Great. So it's another thing that you can use leftovers for, perhaps. Yep. Another vegetable you used in a salad yesterday, go ahead and throw it in today. Yep. Good. Then you chop all that up until it's smooth. We only spent about 450 on the salsa, and we can use more of it later on. And now for the main event, the mackerel. So this fish cost us $5. Okay. So I'd say that's pretty affordable for the main component of the dish. Definitely. Place the seasoned fish into a frying pan with heated oil and cook skin side down until it's golden brown. Turn it over just before placing it on the tatty scone. Then you're ready to plate. Tatty scones, five fifty. Mackerel, five bucks. Salsa verde, four fifty. There you go, fantastic. So two great plates, loads left over for fifteen bucks. Look at those, absolutely beautiful. Thank you, chef. Oh, thank That's you. Gorgeous. Great, great having you cook Cheers. for us. Thank Thanks you. again for this. Simple and delicious, and just fifteen dollars.